Hi, my name is Larissa Sanudo, and today I'm going to be talking about leadership in business. Um, our main source of information is going to be coming from this book right here. It's called Understanding Motivation and Emotion, and it's written by John Marshall Reeve. And in here, he talks so much about what it takes to motivate individuals, a different kind of motivated individuals. And, and you know, if they're not motivated, how do you get them motivated? So just the different approaches to motivation in the workplace, um, which then in turn will lead to development, which then in turn can either create, make one into a good leader or can make an effective leader even more effective. Um, it's important to note that a highly intrinsically motivated individual is more likely to bear effective results, influence your team in positive ways, and in turn will influence your business. Um, it's, it's also very important to denote that there's intrinsic motivation and an extrinsic motivation. And specifically to go into intrinsic first, it is an individual who has motivation from right here. Right, They don't have to really pull from anywhere. They don't really need incentives. They're already motivated to be the best employee, leader, student, whatever it is. Um, they're, they're already motivated to, already, to do that. And inversely, we have extrinsic motivation. And, and that, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not necessarily the opposite of it. But it does mean that the motivation comes from external. It's not from here. It's going to be from out here. And whether it's, hey, if you do A, B, and C, we're going to give you a bonus. Or if you do A, B, and C, you get an A. You know, it's giving different outcomes to a behavior that is either already occurring or that you want to occur. And kind of creating a, either a reward or an incentive for that same behavior. Um, with, with that said, there is going to be a, a such thing as a promotion mindset and a prevention mindset. And this is really what's gonna set it apart because you can have somebody who's not intrinsically motivated but still performs fairly well. Um, but if you have somebody who is prevention mindset, that individual is going to have a little bit of a harder time. So first let's start with promotion mindset and that's going to be the individual who is promoting themselves, who is willing to get out there and, and develop either in whatever facet of development they're looking to get done. And with business in mind, the promotion mindset is somebody who you tell, hey, you know what, we're going to mention this specific feature at the beginning of the interaction instead of it being at the end. And that individual is like, great, let's try it. Let's see how it goes. I'll let you know. I'll give you feedback. You know, we'll talk about it. And they go on it head on and this individual is very much just do it you know just go for it just try it and inversely you have the individual who is prevention minded and that individual if you tell them we're going to mention this part this component at the beginning not the end this individual is thinking what's it going to look like if I fail you know what will these people think of me what will my team think of me what will my the people that I'm in charge of, the people I'm leading, what will they think of me if I fail? And those people are led a little bit more by fear, but mainly by self-preservation. And they are looking to either preserve their image as in the business itself. They're looking to pre um, to preserve their image within themselves even, but they are a little bit more reluctant to try new things. Now, with that said, you can use extrinsic motivation to flip the script right and when you tell them you know let's try it and, and let's let's try it for a one week period the person who gets the most um, sales in this incentive or in this in this component that we're going to introduce at the beginning and not at the end you tell them whoever has the most at the end of the week you get free lunch you know and that's an extrinsic motivator that's going to be an incentive and those are very powerful when you use them sparingly and that's the most important idea is rewards incentives are great but you have to use them sparingly. If you use them every day, if you use them every time, they lose their power. So consider the individual, consider their approach to failure, success, or even their own development. And that will trickle down into your business and, and kind of influence the different kinds of successes you may or may not have. Good luck. Thank you.